Hi everyone, today we're going to be taking a quick look at how you can use surfaces to your advantage when creating toolpaths. Surfaces can be used to cover holes or other geometry you want the toolpath to avoid. In a simple example, I have this prismatic 2.5D part with holes that I don't want the 3D adaptive clearing toolpath to rough out. To create a surface patch, I'll go into the surface environment, select the patch command and select the edge I want the patch to cover. If you are doing this on a surface with lots of holes, it may help to offset the original face so that you can stitch all the surfaces together. This will make selecting the surfaces easier later on when we use them in the manufacture workspace. It also allows for a secondary trick we'll get to in a few minutes. Once you've created all the surfaces you'd like, you need to tell the toolpath to respect them. In the individual toolpath, check the box next to model to override the model you selected in the setup. In this case, You'll just select the surfaces and leave Include Setup Model checked. Now let's look at a more complicated example where surfaces can be used to avoid areas with complex surfaces or geometry. Here I have a part where I don't want the toolpath to enter each cutout while it's finishing the outer surface. Rather than allowing the toolpath to dip down into each cutout or selecting each edge as a machining boundary which could lead to a poor surface finish at the edges, I can patch each hole to create one continuous toolpath. When we look at the differences between the toolpaths, it's clear that the surfacing has made a difference. Without using the surface, the toolpath morphs into the recesses and complex surfaces as it is defined by the model selected in the setup. As soon as the surface is used, this definition is overridden and we can see the clean spiral we would expect from a scallop. This would allow a much better surface finish as the complex parts can be machined individually later on. As mentioned earlier, if you offset and stitch the surfaces like I did here, there's an extra trick you can use to further improve the edge conditions on your toolpath. Back in the surface environment, you can use the extend command to bring the offset surface just past the actual edge of the model. By simply extending this edge, the toolpath will continue past the edge of the model. This will reduce any cusps that the ball nose may leave and allow you to obtain a much better surface finish. All that is left to do is finish the complex geometry and the bottom section. Hopefully this video will help you to machine complex surfaces and holes more efficiently. Remember to give this video a like if you thought it was helpful and make sure you subscribe to see more quick tips.